Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. Where are we, Lee? Uh, Handerton's. .co.uk in yes, the heart of England. Yes, it's February. It's February. Where did that 2018 go, let alone January 2019? Thank God it's February, because that Ooh. means the NAM show is done. NAM's done. Did you get a bit of NAM thrax? Uh, no, I didn't. I got nothing at all in America. Spent two weeks there, smothered at American people eating all the wrong kinds of food, doing all the wrong kinds of things, get back and my son has a cough, coughs on me, and I'm like, oh, now I'm immediately ill. <sighs> Rubbish. So, Kids, eh? Fine. Who'd yeah. have them? Wait, Especially two of them. Hey, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, this is our first video since the NAM show. Um, and this is, we've got some LTD guitars here, not necessarily, what's that say? It's, it's the company that make all the custom cases for Fender. G and, and G yeah. since 1978. A, went to visit them, they're a great company. Cool. Um, LTD guitars. That's not the main reason these guitars are out here. They're all EC1000 models <coughs> of varying specification. This is a blindfold Seymour Duncan versus EMG versus Fluence. And I'll be honest with you, it's mainly EMG versus Fluence, because I kind of, I, I'm, we saw so many guitars at the NAMM show that were Fluence loaded. This couldn't be a more viral title, could it? And I just thought to myself, you know, in the past, I think with the 81 and the 85 and the EMG set, I kind of, I wouldn't have said that, you're going to say Zach Wilde, but I'm going to sort of say, I wouldn't have said that any guitar players that were kind of, you know, known for using those were really guys that I sort of was just like, oh, wow. He's... What about Kirk Hammett? Other than Kirk Hammett, obviously. But the Fluence thing, there's been a few more guys playing those, and I go, oh, I quite like that. So, you know, do I, do I need to just get into... Who's your favourite Fluence player? Greg Cock. Right. Which probably doesn't really count. Really good answer. He's and got... it's the one I was holding on to. Yeah, because he's <coughs> got... Um... He's obviously got uh, a, a Telecaster sort of set of, yeah. of pickups on his guitar, so unlike these. But I'm just intrigued to see, do they sound that different? What are they, brighter, fatter, darker, something, whatever. And there's lots of different Fluence pickups, as there are lots of different CMGs and Seymour Duncans. But in this particular video, um, we shall display on screen now what three sets of pickups these are, largely because I can't remember. <laughs> um, now, the reason I'm not wearing my glasses so that I can't really see these guitars because I don't want to have any clue at all as yep. to what they are. Well, there are obviously going to be a couple of giveaways here. If Rob touches the knobs, one of the guitars is a little different. Uh, the machine heads are all the same. Uh, the neck profiles are all the same. The body depths are all the same. So from that point of view, they should all be, and, the, and they're all strung the same, so that they should all be um, similar like that. Of course, over on this side, we've got one with some slightly more vintage style knobs. And this side, we've got the extra switch, which engages the piazza on the bridge. So you know what? We could throw that in as an extra. Oh, Ooh. God. But for the first bit of the demo, I'm just going to switch it off. So I'm up for the challenge, Lee, despite the fact that my ears and nose are blocked. Come on, come <clears> on. <throat> Let's do this then. Do you want to uh, blindfold up? OK. I, <laughs> I wonder not. how many times you told me to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so rude. Right, oh. audience, with the power of your minds, pick a guitar that you'd like me to start on, and I'll just tune into what you're thinking now. Unbelievable. Use the force, Lee. Unbelievable. Use the, Unbelievable. Use the power right. Of... Uh, you wanted one with a strap. They're all strapped, so there you go. But if you could avoid arm through, there's, here you go, arm, other arm through. Avoid touching the volume knobs if you wouldn't oh, you mind. You know what? I just realised. I, I... I put a pick somewhere. I will get you a pick. So I've turned all the knobs up. I can't get this far over to get the pick. Yes, I can. Camouflage. There you Thanks, are. Thanks, man. Um, <laughs> and you should, although it's decidedly not noisy, which would suggest that... Uh, is your tuner on? Oh, oh, I haven't actually plugged your guitar in. Oh, oh that was quick. Do quick it. entry. Right, right, a bit more, a bit more, right a bit more, right a bit more, right a bit more. Plunge! Ah, oh, damn it. It's a bit further forward. 
<laughs> Plot, right, right. <laughs> Don't turn it down though, because it'll give away. God, good remembrance there. He's got Stevie Wonder feet. <laughs> Put a foot out. Um, EMGs. I'm just going to take this guitar off of you, and I'm saying nothing. Um, I wasn't even going to ask you to guess until you tried at least one other. Um, Can I give you my answer as to why? Of course you may. I've always liked, and this is controversial, but then I, I like to be controversial sometimes. I've always liked the clean tones of the EMGs. They do a really nice thing with clean tones. Good for you. I'm pleased for you. Right, here comes guitar the numero. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, arm through. There we go. Right, avoid them knobs, please. Everything's on full. By all means, two. Shot. I think that was both. Um, um, Shania Twain. Well, I think probably um, these are the fishy ones because they sound. They've got a lot of gain. <laughs> I mean, they've maybe got even more gain than the EMGs. More gain? Well, they just have than a, a lot. set of EMGs. You know what? They're Heresy. Just, they're just really extra. And, and also, I noticed that when I put it on the neck pickup, they were really bright, like way brighter than I'd ever expect. Oh my! Oh my God! Alrighty, Roo. Um, okay, we've put the room back together again. Apologies about that. And what uh, we actually did is I took my blindfold off and looked at all the guitars <laughs> and then said, "Which one's next, Lee?" And he told me. Okay, last one. Marsh, arm through, don't touch the knobs. Thank you, sir, that's very okay. kind of you. Oh, don't even know what that's from now. But anyway, so we're back on a clean sound on guitar number three. I mean, it's just Seymour Duncan all day long, isn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 
pot. I don't know why I stood These are Seymour Duncans. Well, maybe they are, maybe they're not. In fact, bollocks to this, I'm just going to tell you because And it's also, kind of... these are my favourite ones. Are they really? Yeah, I really like them. That's really interesting. Okay, so there's one... So first and foremost, as you guys uh, have probably come to expect now from the uh, our <laughs> maestro that is Rob Chapman... Uh, uh, yes, Can I you, Yes, you got all D-throw. three yeah! correct. Um, one of the things on this particular EC1000 that I'm interested to do is it's got the piazzo loaded. Oh, yeah. So in the middle position, it's now both the Haraka and the piazzo. Oh, that's great. And it fills it out. It's an interesting vibe. I mean, that's just lovely. You weren't pressing that crunch button at all. You were pressing the other crunch button. Yeah, I just wanted to know what it's like with the the mice. to make a Chapman with this circuit because it's one of the nicest sounds. It's so organic sounding, isn't it? the uh, power of sight back. Yeah, it's great. Can we just switch through the three again and see if, because I mean, you totally got it right. For me, the fluence ha- was by far the fattest and loudest sounding of the three. How do I, which? Because uh, you've got the piazzo still on as well. So just. Right. Uh, so by far the, the fattest of the three was, was the Fishman sounding one. Oh, okay, okay. Whether that's the best or not. I mean, I was liking the Fishman well, one. I'll, I'll okay, give you that. So but let's just, let's we just can't go use through. The word, we can't use the word best. No, we can't. Because Unless we're talking about George Best, and right? Then, and then you can. <laughs> but um, we can use the word different. So. It's more nasally on yeah, that bridge pickup, it's, it's, isn't it? It's got almost like a wah type quality. I should say, just for, for people who perhaps can't see over Rob's shoulder, or maybe we'll get a close-up on the amp, the EQ is all... I mean, there's a... Mid-range is exactly on 12, treble is slightly above, but, you know, only like 12 and a bit, and bass is like slightly below, so sort of mm. like, you know, 12 less a bit. But um, if we just go crunch... <laughs> see, the neck's quite bright, huh? Let's move along. Yeah, to... let's just try the try the EMG loaded one. <coughs> it's much darker when you go to the, the, the but it's so clean. Yeah, I think it sounds thinner. And do you know I love a clean tone? I so. do. You...
Can I just take a moment You've to say that? You've been playing some serious chops, haven't you, over the last few weeks? No. I, oh, really? I've, well, I sounds just, good. I'm getting ready you to record. practice less more. No, I'm getting ready to record some albums. Mm. We're doing a Dorje album and a Clockwork Wolf and Company Ooh. album. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just going to say, I'd like to take two seconds out of our time just to say that I think the greatest new metal band are Alien Weaponry. I don't know them. If you haven't heard of Alien Weaponry, they're a bunch of young dudes. Uh, they're Kiwis. Right. And they sing in Maori and they're playing some kick ass, like legit metal. And I'm just like, go on, lads, have it. It's really cool. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Interesting. It's like the hacker with, with like, oh, j -j 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 I love it. hacker there. I love the hacker. Um, it's great. Any more? You want to try? You want no, to just, I, well. I mean, is there a conclusion here? What are you guys thinking? Furiously typing away in the, the comment section. Yeah, well, we should say some horrible comments. Oh, I, I hate Fishman's. EMGs are awful because they're active. Video um, title. Seymour worst Duncan's, ever sounding pickups I've ever tried. Yeah, Seymour click Duncan's bait, are bait, for bait. dads. Um, you know what? Which one do you prefer? Well, I thought when you were going through them all, I thought I liked the, the fish Why? one until you pointed out that it had a kind of a coctois sound and then I couldn't get it out of my head and decide. Basically, whatever you said you liked, I just went, oh, oh yeah, I like that too, Rob. It was like the power of suggestion. <laughs> Would you like to, uh, I've just realised you haven't played yeah, any I of them. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. And you haven't blindfolded up. Do you <clears> want me to, I mean, I'd, I'd kind of, I'd rather just not blindfold because my playing won't be up to much. But let me, um, let me try it through my amp rig. So if you stick your tune air on, and let's just see. What do I think? What do I think? Um, yeah, which pickups do you think those are, Lee? Um, Seymour Duncan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, right, so. That's a good sounding guitar. That is a good sounding guitar. Let's go for this one, both with and without the piazzo. So this is without. It's a full fat double patty American sound. I actually like that. You know what, one of the first guitars I ever reviewed with you had that circuit in it too. The Slash, yes. absolutely. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it's the same, it was the same kind of concept, wasn't it? With the, with the pat, was it the Fishman power bridge? That yes, was again, something? Fishman ruling the world. They're quiet these, aren't they? Given yeah. the amount of, although I've turned one of them down. <laughs> Tell you what, of course, we're not doing that, that really you'd need to do at some point is try them in a mix. Yeah. Because in isolation, something can sound almost wrong, but then you put it with a bass guitar and, mm. and drums and a screaming dude, and it'll be very different. I, I've got to be honest with you, I don't, 
not one of them is particularly standing out as the best one. I think it's almost just like there are three very mildly <sighs> different flavoured... I'd love it uh, if you just like, I'm an EMG guy from now on, that's it. I did. I genuinely, I thought if I had to probably go... I mean, it, I think sometimes it's... We've said this loads of times before, it's, it's a sum of everything, isn't it? And I think there's something about the black one here that actually might be the nicer of the three well, guitars. Well, you know EMG stands for Emmy Good! Emmy Good! Emmy Good too! Um, so there we are. <laughs> uh, yet again, Chappers and the Captain categorically, scientifically proving nothing at all other than it only matters what you like and what you don't. Um, there's, there's, there, there, there's no other dual review but yeah team. so you, you're saying Seymour Duncan I well like... I just I mean I yeah. you know I prefer the Seymour Duncan I've owned lots of EMG mm. equipped guitars and really enjoyed them but personally I prefer the Duncans but yeah. who am I they all work and that's all that really matters buy them all bye anyway, I've been the captain I'm Rob <laughs> and we'll see you I prematurely, in the next video. prematurely threw my pick and I haven't got another one to throw again so that'll do two um <laughs> <laughs>